Well, we are waking up to a wet morning this morning. It rained all night last night here. At times, it was coming down pretty heavy. It's very nice to hear the sound of the rain on the top of the van there. Very soothing. I feel like it put me to sleep. Slept great. I did not hear any other traffic coming in here. I feel like I'm the only one here. Not that big of a lake. It looks like the loop goes all the way around the lake there. It's just been very nice. Very much a fall vibe here that I'm feeling. Just these old stone structures are very cool. It's neat to be camped near one of those. And the temps are quite a bit warmer than where I was just a few days ago. I don't think it got below 50 last night in the van, which was awesome. After being in freezing temps. And my camera is starting to get wet, so I'm going to get in the van here. Okay, we are moving on from Antelope Lake here. The rainy day vibes. Oh, let's might as well go. Ooh, this stuff is like clay. Well, this road is like clay. It is super slick. Put on my brakes and I just kept sliding. I'm gonna kinda rush through this so I don't get stuck. It is slick. We are back on the highway. Away we go. We are coming into Oklahoma. Welcome to Oklahoma, Native America. Hello, Oklahoma. Goodbye, Kansas. Going through a little bit of Oklahoma as we head into northern Texas. Well, that was a quick trip through Oklahoma. Welcome to Texas. Drive friendly the Texas way. Hello, Texas. Goodbye, Oklahoma. signage. Lake Meredith National Recreation Area, Sanford Gate. So we got for available spots here. I believe this is where I camped last time so I think I'm gonna do it again. Bring it in right here. Yes, I am done driving. Well we've seen this spot before but I'll go ahead and show you what I ended up with here. Beautiful view right out the side of the van. Gosh, what a gorgeous day. It is about 70 degrees. This is me here. And a nice view pointing right out the side here. That will work. I'm going to go ahead and get settled in. Been a long day of driving. Well, here we are waking up to a beautiful morning. Sun is just coming up over the horizon there. Looks like we're in for another beautiful day. What a spot to wake up to. So I've already been up to the shower house, got a shower in. I'm gonna have to uh, get ready to move on here pretty quick this morning. I've got some uh, business to attend to in New Mexico. So I'll be heading to New Mexico from here and then uh, hopefully be able to get back to my normal routine here pretty soon. That is the plan. Let's get this day going. Oh, it is time to eat. I did up this roast beef with some onion and corn. Seasoned it up there with a little bit of pepper and cayenne pepper. Did it up on a corn tortilla, looking real good. Gonna add a little bit of sauce, 
Topped it off with some fresh sliced tomato, a little cilantro. Threw up a few of those, that should tide me over. Okay, let's move on out of here. Oh, it's gonna be nice when I can stop driving all day, every day. Coming into New Mexico. Welcome to New Mexico. Hello, New Mexico. Goodbye, Texas. Well, we just pulled off Highway 60 here in Fort Sumner using this real wind drive to hopefully get to a lake out here in the country. Boy, what a difference in temperatures. Nice and warm and sunny. Well, this looks like our spot here. Welcome to Bosque Redondo Lake. Summer catfish water. Looks like there's a few folks camped here. It's a small little lake here. It looks nice and peaceful. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you following along on my travels. I just wanted to take a few minutes at the end of this video. I've been getting a lot of questions about my travel plans, where I'm headed, do I have another seasonal job lined up, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to address those questions. Uh, so to start off, I am moving way faster than I prefer. Been doing a lot of full days of driving and moving south very quickly. Uh, the couple reasons behind that, my last seasonal job in North Dakota, it went on a couple weeks longer than it has in the previous seasons, uh, about a week or so longer. And um, that, of course, it gets cold up there pretty quick come October going into November. So I really just wanted to hightail it south to get into warmer weather, as well as I have a very close friend, a friend that I've known for almost 10 years, and uh, she had helped me through my transition of moving out of my last apartment and into this van life, helped me with uh, yard sales and taking stuff to the thrift store, was just there for me as a good friend, very supportive and uh, just moral support, emotional support. And um, she is now going through a big change in her life. She is moving from San Diego to New Mexico. She bought a house in New Mexico and uh, ne she needs help moving. So I am gonna help her move. So I have stopped in New Mexico and dropped off my trail bike at her new house and the, the hitch mount carrier that I have to free up my hitch so I can tow a U-Haul trailer for her. So that is the plan. It's gonna be a whirlwind moving trip. I'm gonna to hightail it into San Diego, pick up the trailer, and we're gonna get back to New Mexico on loader. And then I'm gonna spend the following day getting, getting the, helping her help get the house situated, install some blinds and doing some, some handyman stuff here and there. And then uh, the next day I will be hightailing it back to Ehrenberg, Arizona, where I'm gonna be a part of these caravan groups that Bob Wells has organized. I mentioned it a few bit videos back and um, I'm going to be kind of a host so as people drop into these spots we have no idea how it's going to work it's an experiment there's no organization to it it's just an opportunity for like-minded people to meet up in a spot and connect with each other hopefully build some friendships and you know the way this goes is a lot of times not everyone gets along and totally clicks and that's okay. And the people that do really click and uh, feel like that there's an opportunity for a friendship, that's where that can happen. And over the course of the camp, um, the stay at each camp, um, the idea is that hopefully uh, smaller groups were, will form and people will, uh, you know, develop a friendship with someone and they, they can go off and explore and do their own thing. It's not a, um, you know, dedicated thing where you have to be a part of the full stay at each camp spot. 
Um, you, people are welcome to go from caravan to caravan between the two groups. And uh, I'm just there to act as a host to greet people. And if anyone has any questions for me, we're hoping that it attracts a lot of new people, people new to living on the road, new to boondocking, camping on public lands. And I am there to share any knowledge that I've gained over the few years of doing it myself. And uh, that's really the idea. There, like I said, no organization, no planned activities. We're just going to leave it up to the group as we meet up and, um, you know, we start to socialize. Um, we're going to just try to figure it out as we go, you know, organize uh, hopefully potlucks and nightly campfires and, um, you know, hikes and whatever anyone wants to do. And we're really encouraging smaller groups to form as people build friendships to break off and go explore the area and find, you know, places to camp. And those that aren't comfortable doing that are welcome to stay with the group for the whole duration. And uh, we're just going to see how it goes. So I'll be uh, doing updates as that whole experiment unfolds. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, more than anything, I'm really looking forward to just um, slowing down my travels, doing extended 14-day stays at each of my camp spots, getting back into just day-to-day -day camp life, and uh, just enjoying the downtime. I burnt a lot of fuel this year going from the southwest to Maine and then from Maine to North Dakota and then back down to the southwest so it's time to just settle down stop burning fuel stop spending so much money and just enjoy nature and enjoy the simple life so again I appreciate you guys following along I look forward to the upcoming videos to share with you guys and I hope you all are doing well out there we'll see you soon take care peace <laughs>